So we're on the last boss, Kappa. But apparently there's more after this, but uh, if we can finish this game early, then we can check out that uh, Doc Lewis side game, which I have set up and ready to go. And uh, we'll go from there, and Bunky's apparently warning me I have to pop the Sands after Mr. Sandman. So I am on the ready for Bunky to remind me when. Alright, let's check this out. But so far, yeah, the hardest fights, uh, Bulb Bull and, and who else was tough? Canadian dude was tough too, wasn't he? It was really our longest fights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Glass Joe was like the hardest for a long time. Yeah, we should have a Glass Joe rematch just to see. Maybe that I, I've learned more. He's not so bad anymore. Like that first fight was tough. Just adjusting to the to the jukes. So Sandman looks like he's got a new hairdo. He's kind of got the the men RD going on here. He looks pissed. What the hell? He destroyed an entire building with his hands. Is that normal? What the? <laughs> Look how smiley he is. You gotta be kidding me. He's the champ. Uh, smiley face. Pulls out a gun. Do he look pissed? What kind of taxes he have? Did he just wink at me? I like the remix. You want some more? guy's gonna duck that. He doesn't flash red during that attack, that's cheating. You want some more? No, the eye matters. I think the dodge on the side is eye wings. I gotta turn on my speakers. Oh. A little too much octane on my side. He's so juiced, the referee can't even raise his hand. Up, son. You fought hard to make it this far. You can't give up now. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's up, Jaeger? How you doing, man? TKO speed run? Yeah, that was fast. I got purposely get hit by a lot of attacks, so I need to uh, first see like what kind of dodges I can do all that jazz. So. These first couple of fights, I'm gonna have to just experiment and see. Yeah. So he wants the dodge on the side. That one looks like I hit him in the stomach pretty easily. Purposely get hit. Yeah, I need to see which dodges work and which ones don't. Remember, sometimes some dodges you get more hits than others. It seems like I can only dodge on the side of eye wings. Like I try down, I gotta try blocks. No, you can't block it. No. Alright. I'm gonna hit him once right now. Three hits. One, two, three. Only one hit in the stomach that hit. Eh? 
three hits. Yeah, Macho Man was doing a lot of damage to us too. He was like basically two shining us as well. One, two, three. And the standstill is just delayed, but I can hit him this time. What's wrong with I gotta see if I can hit him this time. Just one hit, eh? But it doesn't matter which one I do. Three, four, five, six. Three. One hit in the stomach, man. Alright, let's see his second phase. He's gonna get some new attack for sure. Who's wrong way? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's way past your bedtime, Mac baby. <laughs> Mac baby. You gotta be careful out there, Mac. This fight could end in the blink of an eye. That chalk of Bardock. Mac baby. Hey, Mac baby. Brush your teeth. It's bedtime. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's going for a while. Oh. That was fast. Okay, so far no new attacks, but he did the blinking phase for a long time. Alright, let's try to do this. Let's try to do this now. Wrong way. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out. Ouch! And then do the way. Uh oh. One, two, three. Man, he gets the full health. down never give up show the world why you're the best mac baby <laughs> is this like a a, a a mr t reference guys yeah his, his uppercuts are super super fast hey mac baby brush your teeth it's bedtime Oh! 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 A slow left and a slow right. 
Oh my god. That was so fast. Oh! <laughs> That's really fast. <laughs> hey, what's up, DK? Thanks for the 400 bits, bro. Appreciate it. We're back on the grind. Baker, taking the dust city. So far, he's got no gimmicks. It's just raw speed. His gimmick is he's hard. So far, he's not too bad. He wastes a lot of time with that move. For bedtime snack. Mm. <laughs> you gotta be careful out there, Mac. This fight could end in the blink of an eye. Talk about time. Hey, Mac, baby. Brush your teeth. It's bedtime. Right. Oh, oh, oh. He goes left, right, left, right for a bit, then eventually he mixes mixes it up. Yo, what's up, Witcho? Yo, yo Witcho, I saw your comment on the retro channel, dude. <laughs> He's quick back. Look out there. Watch carefully and try and find any kind of hint before his attack. Uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, we released the Onimusha this morning. That was an awesome run, dude. That was a fun night. Mm -hmm. Nintendo should make a new punch out, new funny, crazy boxers. Yeah. I mean, maybe they were concerned about the stereotyping, which is I extreme, but there's ways around it. I like I think Punch Out uh, never gets old, man. Like the formula they have for it is, is so fun to play. There, there'd probably be a way for it to be like to have some PVP in it, too. That'd be kind of fun. 
Probably. Some way to do it. Yeah, only Musha too. We gotta squeeze that in there somehow for sure. And Dino Crisis too, which I still need to see Dino Crisis too. Hey, Mac baby, brush your teeth. It's bedtime. Right. Shit, wrong way. What? Boom. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, come on. Fight. Oh. Oh, a new attack. I didn't know he was going to win. Okay, I got some more time to see what he does. Ball rock straight punch. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, come on. Fight. Oh, I see. He's tired. Oh, he's recovering instantly. Okay, we made it to the last phase. He like gets he does like three quick wing punches and then he gets tired. I couldn't hit him though. He seemed like he took a step back. One more try, Mac baby. One more. I know you got what it takes. This fight seems easier than the others though. They could also add some funny Nintendo bosses. Yeah, I mean, dude, Nintendo could do anything they want. It doesn't even have to be Nintendo, it could be like anyone, right? Like I said, they wanted to put Princess Peach in here, but you know. <laughs> you know. I want to see poor Princess Peach with a black eye. Little Mac assaulting Princess Peach. I thought he was gonna keep winking. Nice. Yo, what's up, Steven? Did you already play Super Punch Out? Yeah. Yeah, a long time ago, actually. Show the world why you're the best. It's a, it was a really it. fun game. They're all fun, dude. Yeah, we played we played the original arcade, then we played the NES, and then we played Super Nintendo. Not in a row, but you know all the archives are there on the other channel. The Super Nintendo one was interesting because that's when they got really wild and they started giving you like fake out attacks and stuff like that. We had so much problems against that old dude on with his stick. He was like the, the hardest guy for me. He had like these kicks and stuff, all this broken stuff. <laughs> he had to deal with. 
But this game in particular is really good because they, they, there's like so many good combination of slow, fast, and they do a good job of uh, building your your mental stack in this game, which I like. Hey, Mag baby, pressure T. It's bedtime. I think what they could have done to make this fight a lot harder is you be uh, when that he fight. does the big, you know, the big the left eye. right swings. When he goes boo, and if he, if he if he gets you to flinch, he should knock you down for that. Like they should make it so that I can't just get, like, I can't just guess because it's too easy to dodge if I can just guess and then not have to worry about it. It should be boo, and then then he does it like right away and then gets you for for dodging. Hey, Mag Baby, brush your teeth. It's bedtime. Because that's what makes this game so fun is that when you do flinch, you get punished for it, right? That's the main thing this game teaches. Seven, eight, nine. Come on, come on. Fight. Mm, there's gotta be something I have to do there for sure. Otherwise, it looks like he just keeps doing it. Was he getting more tired? Okay. So this whole fight's kind of interesting because it's like... It's just about raw reaction time. Which I'm okay with. He goes, uh oh. <laughs> One, two, three. Come on, come on. Fight. Uh -oh. 
Running the claw for a bedtime snack. <laughs> hey, Mac, baby, brush your teeth. It's bedtime. Oh, I thought he spent too early. And that fast one. One, two, three, four. You want some more? Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's pretty low for the next round. That's good. It's way past your bedtime, Mac baby. Never back down. Never give up. Show the world why you're the I best. I think that's a Mac cool. Baby. That's a cool nickname for boxing, Mr. Sandman. I think that's cool. Hey, Mac baby, brush your teeth. Bedtime. He's the last boss of the first playthrough. Right. Hopefully he gets a nine count and get some health back. I don't think so though, nine count this shit. Okay, he's got a nine count. Oh, seven count. It gets faster and faster, it's crazy. So he he knocks you uh he knocks you out if you screw it up once in the last round. Up, you got to start at the bottom to get or no, he has to knock you out three times total, right? So he does it he does four times. Uh the star opportunities are usually like when you counter them or when uh, you hit them after you're done. Like after I hit him here, I hit him one more time, like when he's recovering. But I don't want to do, like I said, I don't want to do it in the speedrun strats. I want to do this legit. But so far the fight is, uh, it's really straightforward. Like it's really clear what I need to do. So I can just focus on just reacting. A lot of times you have to like figure out how to even what the game wants you to do for a bit, and then you can start the fight. But this one is pretty straightforward. 
Just be good at the game. Just having raw reactions is not skill to That's not the skill. Like so far, like um. Like the Macho Man fight was really Watch good because and try and find any kind of hit it teaches you attack. two different combinations of attacks and like that was really fun. Hey Mac baby, brush your teeth. It's bedtime. It's, it's, I guess it depends on like what your definition of skill is. Cause like to me, I don't think you can really define skill when playing against a computer. I think skill only really comes to the play when you play against another uh, human opponent in anything. That's where you truly show skill. Because the computer can't adapt to what I'm doing, right? He's always gonna be on a set pattern. And yeah, obviously I have to improve to finally beat him, but eventually I will, you know? But the adapting part, I think, is a huge factor when it comes to skill. Like when you play a fighting game, like... You can steamroll a lot of weaker players, but when you play against someone just as good as you and you can't adapt quickly, it really shows a big skill gap issue. I know it's an interesting topic. Ooh. 
Good thing I didn't get hit there. I would have did a lot of damage. He's way past your bit. Hey, Mac, baby, wait here. I'm going to get you a chocolate bar. Ha, 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 ha. I'm just kidding. I think I'll get one for me. I don't know why Mac puts up with Doc. All he brings is sorrow. Hey, Mac, baby. Brush your teeth. It's bad time. All we do is, is, uh, encourage his, uh, chocolate addiction. Coco addiction. One, two, three, four. Come on, come on. Fight. Stand still. Too early. Damn. The first time I thought I delayed it, but I didn't. I hit a kiss. Two, three, four. Let's go. You Oh no. Damn. Night, night. Oh, what? One, two, three, four. You want some more? He's really low for this round, but I'm one knock out of way. You gotta be careful out there, man. <laughs> Doc gives me like no advice for this fight. Hey. Right. Right. Oh. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, come on. Right. Uh -oh. What? <laughs> you just have to survive and you beat him. Knockout! Damn. It just gives you three stars like that. Boom. That was intense. <laughs> we did it! We back, Puzzle God. Yeah, there is the star that you're asking for. I knew you could do it, Matt. You're the greatest of all time. And no one can ever take that from you, baby. He was so angry, he winded himself. Okay, uh, Bunky needs to give me instructions now. What am I popping the sands here, Bunky? I love that he gets tired and desperate at the end of the fight. It is cool. It's kind of like the last boss. I didn't think I have to use this kind of attack. I do wish it was a little harder. Like, I, I felt like... But then again, you know, they probably thought, hey, since he's got the fastest attacks, this might be the hardest. Because everyone's going to be different, right? Everyone's going to find different fights harder. Like, for me, once again, Glass Joe was, like, one of the hardest fights for me. Like, it took me longer... Man, maybe three times longer to beat Glass Joe than it took to beat... Mr. Sand for me, so. But I think we improved a lot too as we played the game, so that's good too. Yo, what's up, Big B? Can you ask me a question that I missed? The winking before the punch is a reference to the Mike Tyson, if you didn't notice. I didn't remember that, but now that you mentioned it, I do. Yeah, thanks for letting me know, Fistle. Chill on games for a bit? Yeah, man. 
That's what I've been doing. I've, I've been like going through because now I'm now that I have spare time, I'm going through my retro log again. I'm going to play some games off stream, and I've been recapping myself on some of the games we already beat just to kind of get back in the mood again, you know. Watching some of my old playthroughs and stuff like that. But I'm doing good, man. I am also getting ready to begin the streaming room. Which will be great. Figuring out what I, exactly I need. I only need a few more things because I, I ordered most of the stuff. Yeah, I'm super hype. And then hopefully in two weeks we'll get a big update. <coughs> on Street Fighter 6 and find out what's going on with that game. What do I mean? About what? You really sure? Three losses and you call it quits? <laughs> Wait, what? All right, then. Let's go out on top, kid. It's time to take your place in history. Wait, I thought he was going to punch out Dog for eating all those chocolate bars. You will face a serious... Oh, dude, I'll take Doc out in two seconds. I could take Doc out in real life. You'll face a series of random challengers. Once you have lost three fights, your retirement will be accepted. He, Mac, he's, he's getting too old now. He's, like, sick of everything. Oh, I have to wait for Bunky because Bunky is usually slow on the replies. I gotta make sure. Actually, I'll just pop it now. There's no sense of not popping it. It's not a big deal. All right. Dog before you retire, chat. Yeah, he's a washed up bum who just eats chocolate bars. Okay, now do I hit the sands? Now I'll pop it? Okay. Jaded at the ripe old age of 17. Dude, think about all the people he destroyed at the age of 17. It's lonely at the top. I would know. Chances, three. If I don't get the opponent... Oh, how do I know who the opponent is, Funky? You'll know, Princess Peach. Yeah. Oh, oh no! My greatest opponent. Uh oh, I'm scared. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! He's as hard as I remember. Oh! Oh! Fights first. It's so ridiculous. Oh, wrong one. Oh my god, dude. It should have been Mr. Sandman first and then Glassjaw last. It's so hard, dude. One, two, three, four. Did I always have golden gloves, guys? Mon doctor a déclaré. Joe's way too hard. 
He needs a nerf. He's too cracked. God. Yeah, Joe's way too hard, man. It's too broken. Okay, kid. Dun, 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 dun. One loss, two left. Thanks, Bunky. <laughs> Since I can't count, I couldn't have figured that out on my own. <laughs> okay, you can admit you just feel bad for Joe and that's why you're throwing. No, Matt, I seriously think Joe is the hardest. Uh, which one do I pick? Do I just pick this? Yeah, we do this. <laughs> Wait, what? Is, is this the secret opponent? Is this a joke? They, they put Donkey Kong in punch up, but they don't put him in Donkey Kong Country 2 or 3. I'm offended. Oh shit, only one punch. <laughs> Donkey Kong worried face. Ah. He's got the banana slime on me. This is not what Donkey Kong sounds like, though. What is Doc gonna say? All right, son. You can't let this ape make a monkey out of you. Knock him out, baby. <laughs> Let's hit him. Knock him out. Look, man. It's getting to the point now where, like, we, we, we were fighting people with illegal boxing, and now we're straight up fighting animals. Like, what the hell's going on with this game? This is why the game couldn't be ported? Well, why don't they just take the fight out, then? I still wish they would have put Princess Toadstool instead. Go, Peta. <laughs> Should I have popped the sands when we fought Donkey Kong? Or is it going to be random every time? There's no cool Easter egg. Is there any other secret opponents? Like this? They should have made this the last boss. It's a banger. It's a banger. It's a Oh shit. Hey bro, thanks for the 2 3, man. There's something disturbing about fighting Donkey Kong. Oh my god, that fucking lariat. Imagine fighting Peach. I know, that's why I want to see it. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, what's this? Oh, what the hell is that banana slammer move? <laughs> now rip your head off, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Oh. I think you have to. If yeah, if, if you don't bait him, he'll waste too much time on the clock. If you play it safe. One punch from DK would knock Mac out of the arena. <laughs> yeah, it definitely would. He's a fucking gorilla. Wait, he's taking me away. Where am I going? Is he taking me to Smash Brothers? Listen, son, we've come a long way. One mistake. And... Yeah, dude, gorillas are fucking strong, bro. They're fucking. They're cracked. Now I'll go to the exhibition so you can find them as much as you like. So there's no other secret opponents? defense just DK hey that's too bad they should have put in more mm -hmm. there's some cool side missions here too without ducking that's cool that's funny so you see DK in the crowd right and you can see that he's in the game that's pretty cool How do you avoid the backhand without ducking? I think he only does the backhand fistle if I if I try to move when he's taunting me. Like see that? I think he only does that move when I attack him. Like if I do this, he 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 has a possibility of doing it. But if I just sit here, I don't think he does it. Damn, I was like waiting for it. Ah. Oh, I hit him. What? Take that, Donkey Kong. Oh no. He's so big. I don't like the voice they use for him though. How did I hit him? How did I get a star there? That was weird. I hit him when he was talking. Where's DK's coach? We back. You got to stay on your toes. This Kong like to throw punches and bunches, baby. <laughs> Should be the one from the TV show. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> what? Oh, come on! That one he does twice in a row. That Larry is tough to dodge. Where does Donkey Kong take us? How is any of this legal? I like the chilled uh, themes in the background. 
DK needs no coach. <laughs> He's all the other cons coach. No, Cranky! Cranky would be his coach. Oh, God. It's so hard to react to those two moves. He only has like two moves. We haven't knocked him down once yet, right? Not even close to reacting to it. it. Takes you to the golden banana. <laughs> Yeah, I remember you told me that before, Bunky. That's cool. Cool attention to detail. Almost reacted to it that time. He like tracks you when you dodge too, is that double slam? Like when I dodge the left, he hits you on the left. It's weird. I know. I have to see which side he like swings on first so I know how to dodge the next hit. See him wink at me? Take that DK. You bastard. I like how he smiled when he whips. What the hell? No, I swear I dodged that. Yeah, I'm actually fighting Donkey Kong, guys. I'm so silly. I don't think I made DK angry, guys. I think he's he's happy. He doesn't look angry at all. He can kill me one punch anyways. You got to stay on your toes. This Kong like to throw punches and... He doesn't have a thought in his head right now. What? Are you trying to say he's stupid? I think he's having fun. He's definitely outside his weight division. That's for damn sure. He's got bananas on the brain. Oh, what's that? There's a new attack. It's like a big delay attack. <laughs> oh, we finally knocked him down. What the fuck he is? He's not even lying down, he's just sitting. Oh my god, he got up fast. Oh, he's fucking angry now. Oh shit, now he's pissed. 
Now he's gonna take me away! He's kind of like, uh... Uh, Don Flamingo. Where he kind of taunts a lot, and then eventually he kind of just comes at you. He didn't take you seriously at first? I don't think it's that. I think he's like having fun, and then all of a sudden he's like, nah, I'm angry. Back. You can't retire. Give it another shot, baby. Forget Mike Tyson, DK is the final ball. Oh, dude, if they put Mike Tyson in this game, that'd be awesome. You never want to anger a gorilla. <laughs> yeah, I don't think punching a gorilla in the face is a good idea. Damn it! He like totally guessed which side I was dodging on. Ouch. That's the karate chop. The move he reacts with is based on what Tony you try to be. Yeah, it looks like it, Bunky. Because he did the karate chop on, uh, on that one. That's my favorite, the fucking hilarious. And the, the kiss. My most hatred move. He hits you on the side. <laughs> Take that, DK. Take that, DK. One, two, three, four. I still think they should have put in Princess Peach. What kind of attacks would she have? I think I have to duck that. One, two, three, four, five. Taunting me. If they made a new punch out, they would probably make it so you choose a bunch of different characters and they have different moves and stuff, you know? That's like the way to evolve this game. Peach throws her peach at you? I don't know, Hennessy. If if Itagaki made the game, yes, that's what that would be her attack for sure. Yeah, she would hit you with a frying pan. Absolutely. And she would throw radishes at you. Here we go. Just being a parent and stepping into the room and seeing your son just biting and punching Princess Peach. Nintendo just getting sued. What the hell is that? What? No, wrong one! The blow kiss, no! I had two stars. I tried to counter him. Oh, maybe- I think that one might be a wild card one. The banana dance might be the wild card, like, you don't know which one he's doing. I love how he takes Mac away. That's great. One more try, Mac, baby. <laughs> Just sends him off. Take that, DK. No! 
The chop. Oh, the delay chop. I'm like a low key Simon Says fight. But if you have an attack you're not good at, you don't even have to attack when he's taunting. You can wait for the taunt you want, you know? You just waste a lot of time. <laughs> Yeah, I think the banana dance is 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 can be anything. So if you're gonna attack them during that taunt, you better be ready. Ooh, we back. You got to stay on your toes. This Kong lacked to throw punches. Yeah, you guys punches, said uh, Little Max in the new Smash game, but you guys said he's not that good. <laughs> he would be probably like, I, I would see him as like a fast character. He's probably like all melee, right? So he'd be super fast. Oh, a triple attack. Oops. Oh no. He's easy to ledge guard. Nice try, DK. Oh, that karate chop. Oh. oh! I think the, the banana dance, it's a random attack and then it ends with the clap. Could be wrong though. Clap? That DK. Okay, I think this two, attack I haven't dodged three, yet is a duck. We'll see. Four, five, come on, come on. Oh no, not that one. Fine. Oh, what was that? Left right into a chop? He's a scrub killer. Uh. You know what's funny too, uh, I think it was on Event Hubs today, they mentioned Smash Brothers being like the highest selling fighting game. And it actually brought up the, the godlike argument. Someone was like, I don't consider Smash a fighting game. <laughs> and then it stirred up a giant argument. It's amazing. We should read it sometime. If winning was I easy. love reading that shit. It's great. It like started off with like, Someone not considering a fighting game because of uh, certain elements of it. And then, <laughs> then someone wrote like a huge paragraph of like, it's got footsies, it's got nooch, <laughs> like all this shit. <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a great timeless argument. Yeah, 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 you know, no, no, he said that, Hulk. He was like, he was like, uh, he was like, you know, it's not, it was, it was his main argument for it not being a fighting game. It was never meant to be competitive. It's a kid's party game. He threw kids in there, right? Kid party. <laughs> Dude, I was I was laughing. It was a good read this morning. Yeah, God Light Nooch. Event I was reading party. <laughs> I don't know why I love reading that shit. Oh man. Honestly, DBZ has neutral and footsies, but it's a party game. DBZ is a party game? I don't think DBZ, I think DBZ was meant to be competitive for sure. What's party about it? There's no like items or anything like that. But anything can be competitive in the right situation. I mean, the community is what makes it competitive, right? Because even Nintendo doesn't want it to be competitive, so. 
But I don't think that's what makes it a fighting game. It's not, obviously, that's not enough. It's just such a funny argument. How many, uh, do you guys know how many characters Smash Brother has? The newest one, I mean? Scratches his his armpit. That's when he does the. Eighty, hey, that's. Is that not fucking insane? Yeah, I know the characters aren't like robust, you know. They're less robust than KOF characters. But that's still amazing how many characters that is. A lot of clones. <laughs> They're different enough from each other that 80 is fucking insane. It's like we back, you got to stay on your toes. It's just Smash like to throw punches and bunches, baby. Smash Smash just kinda has everything that you need for a successful fighting game, right? Like, first off, it's a platform fighter, so it's it's extremely accessible, you know. Yes, there's high level to it, and the high level can be very hard. But to just if you're someone who doesn't play fighting games or whatever, you can hop into Smash easily, right? It's so intuitive to understand. Just four directions, a special move button, an attack button, right? Four, di four directions. So it's super accessible. There's a shit ton of content, right? I don't think they have those target games anymore, but they have other things, right? Like that baseball thing and a bunch of other mini game stuff in it. It's got a crazy IP, right? Nintendo fans are like brainwashed. So it has like a million Nintendo characters, not even just Nintendo. You know, it has from tons of games, you know, there's Snake, there's Belmont, there's everything. You know, there's Cl uh, Cloud, right? Huge, huge IP power. And um, yeah, Sonic, exactly. And um, yeah, so it's got it's got everything, right? Like it's got it's got it hits every it hits every note, you know? The, the one big flaw of it, and once again, I don't play Smash, but I, I think the netcode sucks, right? That's like the only flaw of the game, right? The netcode's ass? Did someone correct me if I'm wrong on that? I'm assuming the netcode's garbage just because it's a Nintendo console, so I don't know. It's hella ass. It's a Nintendo game, the netcode is horrible. Yeah, so that's like the only flaw, right? Is that it's, it's the netcode sucks with consoles that don't have Ethernet ports built in. That speaks for itself. <laughs> but you can get an adapter, Rashido. All frames of delay, no matter how far you are. It's like playing under mud. Oh, you're saying it doesn't have rollback netcode. The updated dog has entered Ethernet or Word. Yeah, so once again, it kind of hits all those notes. And then we look at another successful AAA fighting game. We have like Mortal Kombat, where the netcode's good, it has good content. It. I don't. Would you guys say Mortal Kombat's accessible? It's accessible enough. I mean, they got like one button fatalities, I guess. I don't know if Mortal Kombat's accessible. You guys think? 
But you guys, but you guys agree that Smash is more accessible than Mortal Kombat, though, right? Like Mortal Kombat still has four buttons, and the special moves are tap directions. Mortal Kombat somewhere in the middle, somewhere there. But like you can rock somebody in MK though. If you played against like a total noob in MK, you could rock them with like mix up cities. I guess you can rock somebody in Smash too if they didn't know how to play. You would rock somebody easily. I don't know. Anyways. If you play a, a noob in Smash, they'll, they'll <laughs> yeah, you know, they'll like three stock them no problem. Wait, what? He dodged. That's cheap. I punished him. One, two, three, four. <laughs> that is cheap. Take that. <laughs> Oh god, that double slam attack. Can I I gotta see if I can duck the, the double slam attack. Now listen up, Mac. You got to start it. The new Mortal Kombat and the new Street Fighter and Tekken games are out. You think it's gonna really hurt the other fighting game publishers that haven't caught up? Because now we got kind of a new bar to be set now. Everyone's got like rollback net code now. There's cross play and there's actual content. Like it's gonna be really hard to sell someone to pick up. A fighting game that hasn't caught up, you know. <laughs> Shit, I haven't tested ducking that yet. No, you can't duck it. <laughs> oh. All right, son, you can't let this ape make a monkey out of you. Knock him out, baby. <laughs> Let's hit him. Knock him out. Well, I'm talking within the fighting, uh, fighting games only, like within fighting games only. Like, there's a lot of games that kind of got away with murder because because of like the bigger games aren't that much bigger in terms of what they bring, and there's been such a drought from the like the, all the big fighting games in terms of their their sequels. You know. Like, DBZ's new, but the Neko, I don't know if they got the rollback yet, but the Neko is still bad, right? 
I can't speak on Strive. Every time I look up something on Strive, I always hear people complaining about some shit. But it's usually just like Guilty Gear players complaining it's too easy. I don't know. I saw something about the director saying some shit about they don't want people to practice or something. I don't know. I don't know anything about it to really talk about it. All fighting game players complain about their fighting games? Uh, I mean, a lot of pros do, yeah. But that's not always the case with everybody else. Like, for example, KOF has been pretty positive. But the one side, a lot of the casual side complains that the matchmaking doesn't work. But a lot of the pros don't care because they, are, they have their own local communities or they play on Discord. Like DBZ casuals, I don't really hear them complaining. But the pros complain because of the netcode. So I'm just saying that like every, every game is kind of different. It's not it's not that black and white. Anyways, my point to this whole thing is that I feel like this next jump for fighting games is really big, like bigger than normal. Like, the jump from Street Fighter 4 to Street Fighter 5 was like, it was big on the eSports side. Oh, did I just counter him? But netcode wise, you know, the online was just a little bit better. Oh yeah, if he beats his chest, then I think that's the tough one. I also hit him by accident before he attacked me. Okay, if he... Huh. It's the way he beats his chest for what movie jumps the past. Street Fighter is going to remind people what a game with love and care put into looks like. I mean, yeah, it's it's not, but like it's not just the love and care, right? It's like how it's how much how much they're putting in, how much the company is allowing them to put into the game, the value of it, right? It's just going to be hard to justify gaining any other fighting game unless you kind of reach that bar. I think it's it's a big deal. Maybe I don't know. Don't cry, Mac. There will always be like you know, the niche fan audience of whatever specific fighting game, but I just feel like the jump this time is really big. Like, if in a perfect world, obviously Street Fighter Six is not out yet, so we don't know. But let's just say in a perfect world, a game that's like really big with cross play and like really good netcode where people can play each other worldwide that's like running tournaments all the time that has a ton of content outside of just playing it and even casuals are playing it like a game that healthy it's just hard not to like to not just want to play that and you know what i mean to, to play something in, instead it's just weird to me It's just the, the the jump is just so big. It feels like Capcom's finally putting Monster Hunter level support behind Street Fighter. The Monster Hunter money. Street Fighter 6 is missing the Switch version. <laughs> I'll have versus only. D 
DJ Vesper, why is the Street Fighter 6 OST so mid? I don't know. Music music is subjective, but I, I do agree with it being pretty mid. One of the reasons though that the music sounds sounds mid is because the music in Street Fighter 6 is not it's not played from the beginning of the track to the end. The music is dynamic in Street Fighter 6. It depends on the round and the health of the characters. So when you listen to the music straight up, it might not sound good to just listen to, but when you're playing the game, it's all right because it's dynamic music. That being said, I mean, Killer Instinct's got dynamic music and it's amazing. Street Fighter V's OST was godlike. I think Street Fighter V's OST is also mid. I'm pretty picky when it comes to music, though. The jukebox will bail them out? Yeah, that's true, Slim. But... I don't know. Maybe... maybe uh. It, like I said, guys, it's it's really hard to argue about music. It really is. You know how 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 are we going to like? We there's, like it's like this this kind of conversation will go nowhere. You know. When it comes to music, all we can talk about is like the quality or the style. And yeah, everyone's gonna be biased to something. One thing I can say about Street Fighter Six is that. The music fits the theme, and it's and it uh, it has more direction than I'd say Street Fighter Five does. Like the music they're going for is very specific, and and it matches the game, and that's good, right? Whether you like it or not. I don't think the music's bad. I just think what Hennessy said it's mid. Like, that, that's a good way to describe it. It's mid. It's like it's not bad, but it's not like something amazing. We haven't heard all the tracks yet. There might be like some banners in there. There usually always is, but it I guess the music is not it doesn't reach the level of like everything else that we've uh, everything else about the game, you know? But everyone's in charge of different things, you know? I think I think Cap Jams has some really good songs too. They got some phenomenal songs in uh Capcom Collection. I like their remixes a lot. I think they could have maybe had some more of the original tracks play during the themes. They're a little too far off, you know? But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much else I can say. Like I said, talking about music, it's really hard to, to talk about it objectively. Like I said, I'm very biased. I like I like my music really high energy, more like tech and stuff, you know? And when it comes to Street Fighter OSTs, you know, I am... Like, my favorite tracks are probably, like, from Street Fighter 2. I really, I really like, I really like the CBS 2 OST. Tekken music is bottom tier. Yeah, like I said, it's you're gonna have different opinions for for everything. Yeah, I mean, there, 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 there is, there is really good tra tracks up in Street Fighter Five. What was that? That was cheap as fuck.
Oh, come on. What? It's a double dock? Like... Listen up, son. If you're having trouble, maybe I should call my plumber. <laughs> Whoa! Come on, dog. Why'd you have to say that, bro? Like, uh, uh, yeah, Falk's theme is good. Guile's theme is good. I, I, my favorite theme is actually the last one. The, the final CPT stage. That's my favorite theme in Street Fighter V. Yeah, but they should have put Mario in this shit, dude. I would love to fight Mario. Yeah, Street Fighter Alpha, you either like it or you don't. Because all the music sounds so similar in that game. about them not needing it to be classic themes One, going two, the other extreme i think three, is bad though like listen four, to the fucking dial team five, <laughs> six. Come on, come on. like street fighter is built off nostalgia there's a reason why ryu ken and chun li are always in the game and they're gonna have similar looking costumes and all that shit like it's just part of the game like having Having bits and pieces of their old themes remix is completely fine. No one's gonna complain, oh, I'm tired of listening to the Guile of theme. People want that shit. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Like, if they went from one extreme to the other, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, that was tricky as fuck. Oh my god, I don't. Oh my god, don't touch the plants. You can have both, Slim, but I'm talking about the default music. <laughs> Street Fighter e EX proved original themes can work. Well, there's a lot of new characters in Street Fighter EX, and... And uh, a lot of characters shared themes in Street Fighter EX, so I wouldn't really call it character themes. Don't even bother mentioning Street Fighter 3 because stage themes. Like, all the characters have the nostalgic costumes, it seems like that. If at first... How does that work, though? Who makes the call? Like, let's say, let's say you're a producer for a fighting game, right? And Cap Jams is, is, it gives you their, their mixtape, and you don't like it. Like, what do you guys, what would, we, what would you say? You know? They're like, bro, I'm not feeling it. I think we need to go in a different direction. Like, I don't know, it's just... 
to tell someone their music is bad is, is really hardcore to me, you know? Like, art direction is one thing, like... Like, it's, it, you know what I mean? Someone draws Kami, or draws Kami, or draws Chun-Li, and you're like, ah! Her thighs need to be bigger, you know? You need to take changes here. I don't like the color of this, you know? But when it comes to music, like, what do you say? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know. For so, just to me, for some reason, telling someone their music is bad is like that's tough to say. I feel terrible telling someone that a musician that you know. Start over from the beginning. You guys are fucking. You guys are cold. Shit. <laughs> Never delay enough on that one. <laughs> Picture this, Fester. You're the top leader of the Street Fighter Five team, Back. and your music start. production team After delivers you Jerry. Maybe you can get the yeah, I'd be like, look, I would tell the musician back? like this. Look, I got the fucking CEO breathing down my neck. Right? And he's gonna give me shit, and then I gotta give the guy who makes the music shit, and the fans are gonna give everybody else shit. <laughs> I remember the, uh, the guy who made Zeku's thing posted his first two drafts on his channel. He, he said Capcom Tournament wasn't quite what they were looking for. Oh, really? I never heard about that missile. That's cool trivia. But if what you're saying is true, then what the fuck happened with the Jerry theme? I don't know. I. I really don't know what the what the actual consensus on Street Fighter 6 music is. I know what it is within this little bubble. And maybe on Reddit, I guess, I don't know, but that's that's such a small bubble, guys. Does the music sound high quality? I don't know, the Dawson thing was pretty sick. They just released that. The Blanca theme sounds great too, honestly. It sounds good. But I think it's like... Somewhere along the way, the music kind of lost its kind of video game music vibe. You know how video game music is constructed differently than actual music that you listen to? Like, video game music is supposed to be something that kind of just gets, uh... Um... Something like... It gets really in your head, you know, where you hum to it, because... Because video game music is, is, um, because music gets boring, right? So video game music is designed in a way so that you can listen to it for long periods of time because, uh, you know, you're playing a game. They don't have many music tracks, right? So they had to design them in a way so you can hear it over and over again. You know? It's, it's really tough. I do feel like the Street Fighter 2 soundtrack was like a masterpiece. It's so memorable, dude. It's so good. It's so amazing. Besser just said video game music was designed to steal a chord. No, I'm serious. It's designed differently, man. It is. There's a talent for it. It hasn't really been video game music since before Street Fighter 3. Yeah, I guess so, hey? Yeah, music. It's an interesting topic. Right. 
I noticed when he did the double slam, I dodged on the wrong side, but I still dodged it, so maybe it's a timing issue that I have. Maybe I'm dodging it too early. No, it definitely hits me early. I'm gonna just get lucky and I dodge it too. Oh, what? I can't even have- I don't even have, have enough time to do a double duck there. I think I just have to literally hit him in time. So it looks like you have to dodge out of two ducks. Just the way is such a it's such a powerful asset to any type of media it really like even for anything like even movies like having a movie that's like pretty good with shitty music or having like even a bad movie with good music, you know? Like, yo, Hennessy, you in the chat? Like, we watched, we watched, uh, the fifth live-action Resident Evil movie, and the soundtrack was actually not bad. The movie was just so junk, but the soundtrack was alright. You know? But if you have that harmony of, like, a good soundtrack and a good movie, it's like, it's fucking crazy, you know? I don't even need to bring up the Mortal Kombat movie, bro. Oh, what? The clothesline can dodge One, left? Two, three, four. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck, I wasn't paying attention. The, the old MK theme song of the Vayner. Yeah, I love that whole sound. All right, son. You can't let this ape make a monk. Uh, is this on emulator? Yeah, we're playing on Dolphin. Hey, thanks, Senpai. I tried to punch him. No. Oh, I forgot the third hit. My bad. He did the banana pot. How's your week going, Senpai? Professor, how do you feel with the OSTs in this game where Super Mario World where it's mainly variations on the same melodies? I mean, it's like anything else, you know? There's bad remixes and there's good remixes, you know? 
I was, I was talking before how I, the music sounded kind of strange in this game because the, the way it was mixed. Like, it sounds too faint. But I realized that's because you, the audio cues in this game are really important, so they probably wanted to drown out, right? Yeah, then there's World of Combat that has no two, music. <laughs> three, four. Oh, damn it. Is this anime for PC? Yeah, I'm playing on PC. Did I move into a new place yet? Yeah, I moved uh, a couple of months ago, finally. But uh, I still, I'm still unpacking. Because of the Street Fighter 6 news, I haven't had time to settle down until recently. And then I'm gonna start uh, filling up this room with stuff. All right, son, you can't let this. By the way, guys, buying like video game merch is a very expensive and time-consuming endeavor. My goodness. You know, I used to look down on you guys. You know, having your uh, your waifu action figures all lined up on shelves in your room, but uh, I think I can respect it now. Now I know how hard you guys work. It's an ordeal. You finally bought the Daigo statue? <laughs> Can you imagine? If I ever got caught with a Daigo statue, my reputation would be like down the tubes. Somebody has to keep Dark Souls alive. <laughs> and you're the man to do it. <laughs> oh! You just stand still and you dodge it. Okay. That makes it a lot easier then. <laughs> There's so much to it, guys. Like, oh my god. I've been looking up, uh, like, collector's stores around in my city, and there's, like, so many different types of collections, right? Comics and... Like Star Wars stuff, you know, comic book hero stuff, and there's some video game stuff, but then there, I'm looking for like retro video game stuff specifically. And then going into the figures things, oh my god, dude, that's a whole other planet. First off, this shit's extremely expensive. Then there's the whole 3D printing stuff, and then coloring. And I'm like, man, I just want to buy some cool stuff to fill up my room. I don't want to deal with any of this shit, you know? Maybe I'll just I'll get some plushies and call it a day. But my God, I guess the stuff I I like is 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 very niche. You know, like I don't want fighting game stuff in this room. I want like retro game stuff, like cool stuff, like old stuff. But it's so hard to find, and when you do find it, it's expensive. So whatever. I'll slowly build the room over time. Just the way of the road. Kid. Best for once a Simon statue. Just the way of the road. <laughs> I want a bunch of stuff, dude. Get a P.O. box and get a donate a thon. No, because then someone's gonna send me the damn Daigo statue, and I don't want you guys to see that shit live. Fuck that. <laughs> no! 
I guarantee, I, I, I fucking guarantee you, the first day I have a PO box opening, someone is gonna give me the stupid Daigo book and the fucking statue. Guarantee. No fucking way. <laughs> Signed to <laughs> what the hell? It's okay. It, it, it can be kind of like a thing that I slowly build, you know. There's no rush. Maybe I'll get some. Uh, my brother suggested I get some plants you know, to fill up the space. Every time I fucking shot, dude. One, two, three, four. Come on. Back to statue the radio. It is unfortunately. <laughs> No, three attacks. Listen up, son. You go out there and distract this gorilla. I grab his bananas so I can make me a chocolate sundae. Ha 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 ha! we're getting a blaze blue waifu body pillowcase. <laughs> oh man, that's fighting game related. Remember, no fighting game stuff, guys. I don't think fighting games are cool enough to get any merch for I've seen you merch from retro games you hated. Yeah? I just like like Five, old retro game six, stuff, you know, like Oh shit. Like Fantasy Star or like Golden Axe or Streets of Rage or like Secret of Mana, like stuff like that. Hey, what was that mix up? Holy shit. You guys keep naming fighting game stuff. You need to go put your listening ears on. Okay, he... This fight is insane. I don't! I swear it though. Get a Metal Gear 1 salt. You want me to get Kojima merch? Are you kidding me? Might as well get a Death Stranding poster too while I'm at it. Alright, son. You can't let this eight get make a monkey a million. out of you. <laughs> Knock him out, baby. Come on, guys. Let's hit him. Knock him out. You guys seem to know everything I hate, but not the things I like. Oh my god. You sound like you're enjoying learning this fight. I'm also distracted, but I'm doing talking a lot. Oh, 
talking about music and now we're talking about retro merch. All oh, right, Silent Hill had a bunch of merch. Like a skateboard, right? Forgot about that. Oh yeah, the real Leon Jack kid? That'd be amazing. Three, four. Come on, come on. Fuck, I don't duck here really. <laughs> Fucking chop, bro. <laughs> Huh? I thought maybe since he does like different taunts, it tells me the order of the attacks he's doing, but I don't know if that's the case. Hey, Mac Baby, pitch me. I must be dreaming. Are you fighting Donkey Kong? <laughs> hey, even he knows who Donkey Kong is. Also, if people had your PO box, they might send over a bunch of mech shit. Yeah. I got to do some testing with my mailbox, guys, because even though I have a mailbox now, uh, it's those, like, you know, small mailboxes or whatever, right? Community mailboxes. So I have to I have to do some, some test orders from Amazon and see if they'll even deliver to my door. Does Transformers count as a mech? Oh, you bet your ass it does. What the fuck? How do I dodge that fucking move? Kiss my ass, Donkey Kong. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, come on. You. I don't get it, bro. How do you not like Max? Which is something I I, I I realize ever since I was a little boy. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? One, two, three, four, Oh. oh, I dodged it. I can't believe I dodged it. Shut up, Donkey Kong. Oh, I didn't knock his lights out. Can't let this ape make a monkey out of you. Knock him out, baby. <laughs> Let's hit him. Knock him out. Beast Wars? What's Beast Wars? I know Beasties.
bullshit! Yogs, look up beasties on YouTube. Listen up, son. We've obviously never heard of it before. character do is pretty cool. And Waspinator was like... He was like the cut man of the show. No one took him seriously. The raptor's name was Dinobot? Really? I don't remember that. Fucking cheeks, dude. One, two, three, four. One Canadian show. Uh, that I, I feel like a lot of Americans missed out on that's godlike is fucking uh, reboot. You saw some of Reboot? Yeah, if I had to choose like a Canadian show, I think Reboot would be a really good one. That was an awesome show. Reboot did not age well. I haven't seen it since I was a kid, so maybe it didn't. But when I watched it as a kid, I fucking loved it. Yeah, all the names of the characters are so cool. Exodesimal, yeah. Megabyte, like, come on, man, it's amazing. Yeah, there's Enzo, Bob, Thought Matrix, Mouse. Gigabyte replaced Megabyte. <laughs> Hasbro owns the IP. <laughs> Didn't they try rebooting that shit and it just like failed miserably? It was like that Power Rangers movie. That was like one of the last times I saw uh, you're allowed to see dislikes on YouTube. I remember that Power keep Rangers trying, movie trailer or whatever got like... It's like one of the most dislikes I've ever seen in history. It was fucking insane. Netflix reboot of reboot. It was nuts, bro. Oh my god, I just noticed something, guys. I noticed that <laughs> when Donkey Kong uh, blows the kiss, 
He has two variations that tell you which side he attacks first. I fucking just realized that just now. Puzzle God. Holy shit, that helps out so much. Okay, progress. So I figured out one move. Now I still don't know how to dodge the clap. How do you dodge that fucking move? Cheeks! Best we're getting a DK statue now. <laughs> Fuck sakes! He's attacking the opposite direction now. Maybe it, it, it's random? No, it can't be. It has to be something. Why is it why does it think he's attacking the opposite way now? Said which way he blows the kiss. <laughs> Lights out, DK. One, two, three. It's so hard. <laughs> Transformer shows suck. What the fuck? It's all right, sir. So you can't dodge the clap, is what you're saying, Bunky. <laughs> That's bullshit. Son, if you're having trouble, I gotta figure out a deal with this like five hit stupid string. 
Kick him out, he's cheating. Baby, pitch me. I must be dreaming. Are you fighting Donkey Kong? Yeah, like I said, guys, Willie's Willie's gonna spice up his streams eventually here because we we cleaned up the garage, and he's setting up the gym, his new gym. <laughs> Willie's starting all over again. He sold his old gym, and now he's getting a new gym. And uh, I can tell he's getting addicted already. He got one piece and now he's getting more pieces. We're going to get our punching bag soon. And Willie will probably do like workouts before his stream. I guess he streams it. And I might join him for that too. So you guys might see me show up looking super tired. Yeah, time to get juiced. It'll be fun. What? No! <laughs> oh, that's good, y'all. Thanks for asking. I'm getting ready to start Fist North Star soon. <laughs> yeah, be like Luke. <laughs> The only problem is they need to figure out how to set up the cameras. Like I told Willy for now, just stream off his phone. I'll have to figure it out. Oh, Donkey Kong fell back down, guys. Four, Hit him in the five, head for the new cars. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, on, he's come back. <laughs> nice emotes, <laughs> Sparrow. <laughs> Good. I still don't understand the tell for which side he's double slamming on. At first, it's like the, the side he he's 
blowing a kiss on it looks like, but it changes later for some reason. Like that? Here, I'll tell you what I think and I'll, you guys can see what I mean. He does it. So this is... I'll point it out when he does it. I'll tell you which side it's going Like that right side. See, like he does it on the right, see? But eventually it changes. He does he does it like the opposite or something. Weird. This did this game come out before the rhythm games? No, the rhythm games exist in the arcade forever. A really long time ago. This scene is like, whatever order of attack he does, it's always the same. That right, see, watch. Yeah, he did right, hold on. I'll keep an eye and make sure it doesn't change it up. Take that, DK. One! Two, three. Could have been worse. Could have been five, Princess Peach. <laughs> Look how happy he is. Listen up, son. If you're having trouble, maybe I should call my plumber. <laughs> <laughs> He just falls out of the ring. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Not the chop. Anything but the chop. <laughs> Two hits on that one. Yeah, I wish I could play some uh, rhythm games on the stream, that'd be really chill, but the DMCA is real, you know? It's not even worth it for me to take the chance. But yeah, Beat Mania and DDR and and uh, Drum Mania, man. Fuck, I love Drum Mania so much. It was so fun. Like I told you guys when I won that first uh, Marvel tournament. I pretty much spent like all my winnings on that fucking drum game, man. I loved it. Shit. 
Pump it up. <laughs> Pump it up got sued, then maybe. <laughs> Did a gorilla learn how to tie? I think they got sued <laughs> by Konami. I played Pump It Up. In case you guys don't know what Pump It Up is, it's DDR, but it's four arrows on the corners, and there's uh, an arrow in the middle. It's like a five on on a on a on a die. And I told you guys like my. Uh, the owner of my arcade that I worked for used to be a trucker and he had contacts in shipping and he had a buddy who did shipping from Korea and we had a ton of really early imports for our arcade games. We got games super earlier than normal and our arcade was smaller than uh, we had, there was a giant arcade that opened up in the mall in the West Wentz Mall called uh Palladium and Palladium guys is like this three-story giant rec room arcade massive the technology was so advanced we used cards instead of tokens they had the most one of the most beautiful bathrooms you guys have ever seen it was amazing they had a they even had a bar and and the way our arcade crushed them was because we got so many good games earlier than them that it destroyed them that no one wanted to go to Palladium because all their games were too old. Like, they had DDR1, we had DDR5. You know what I'm saying? They had Marvel vs. Capcom 1, we had Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And it was just, like, devastating. Like, every time they got a new game, we got, like, the newer game. And it just crushed that fucking arcade, man. Put them out of business. It kind of sucks, too, because, uh... Uh, at one after I quit the arcade, I tried working at Playin, and I remember meeting the manager. And after he did his interview with me, he shook my hand and he's like, "I like what I see." That's what he said. That was that was his parting words to me, and I was like whistling on the way home, even though I can't whistle. And I'm like, "Huh, I like what I see. That means I'm hired for sure." Next day, the place goes out of business. I never knew if he was gonna hire me or not. <laughs> It was a cool arcade though. I see if I can find some like old uh, YouTube videos of this so I can show you guys what it looked like. Hey, the games, man, that's such a huge factor, right? Those for consoles, too. I never worked in arcades, probably would have if they still existed at the time I was old enough to work. Oh, God. Working in an arcade is easy, it's just you gotta deal with a lot of delinquents, though. There's always shit going down in the arcade. So it's not for everyone. Like for me, it's like... Like, I would have so many friends there, right? So it'd be pretty chill, but... I didn't get along with my, uh, my workers. So it was a nightmare for me in the end. By the way, that's such a red play, by the way. 
If you work a job where you don't like the people you work with, man, get the fuck out ASAP. Bro. That is such a huge red flag for a job. Not liking the people you work with. It's man, it's brutal. It, it, it's kind of it's kind of like the same thing with uh with where you live right if you don't like the people you live with you don't want to like <laughs> it's, it's the same for work you know it's like half of your day is at work half your day is at home I mean, it wasn't a big deal for me. I was like 17 years old, so it's like whatever. Just an early learning experience for me, you know? Oh, he lets you punish you longer if you dodge everything. I always get hit by that one. One, two, three, four. One, two, hey, back down. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No! Come on, come on. Yeah, I, th I think the theater is a good starting job. Usually there's cool people that work in the theater. Stop wasting time, DK. I need to knock you down one more time. No decision. If I'm win, I'm gonna restart. No! I don't want to win by decision. I want to get this fight down. <laughs> My decision, but don't let the refs decide who wins the next time. That's true. Funky, what do we have left to do after this fight? That's it, right? We're done with this game. Even Doc says it doesn't count. Go watch the ending. You can watch the ending now. Go lose your third match. Oh, okay. Fun. I'm gonna get this fight down. You, if you never lose, this game has no ending. That's true, Nightmare. Just blew my mind, bro. Oh, did you guys hear about uh, Capcom Cup? They finally announced Capcom Cup, and it's offline Capcom Cup. Could be the grand finale, guys. That'll hopefully be a good send off. Like I said, that Street Fighter V Evil was one of the best tournaments. I don't think much people acknowledge that. Probably biased, but I'm, I'm telling you, that Street Fighter V tournament was awesome. 
What's your favorite? The flavor? only thing is, oh, is like the Man's I don't want to say this in a negative way, but like it kind of sucks that the, it's a little bit tainted because the people that qualify for Capcom Cup offline played online, <laughs> you know. So this is hey, Momochi's there. Momochi was there. Momochi's at Capcom Cup, so that's good. Unless he finds an excuse not to go. But uh what do you think about the LCQ? Who the hell is going to win the LCQ and who's even going to enter it? I hope that uh, that Ed player comes down to try to win the LCQ. The ending walker. Kid. I have to check the brackets again on who qualified and who didn't. That S LCQ will be tough though. That will be a tough one to win. But those, that's usually the, 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 the best tournament to watch, actually, before Capcom Cup. LCQ is fucking awesome. Hopefully they don't screw up and they actually stream it, though. Because last time they didn't stream it. What's up, Helldog? Oh shit. Oh, I'm totally lost. I totally lost my rhythm. You're like 100 percent of me then. Whoops. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Get that delay chop down. We're good. That's the one thing that kills him. Because if you get hit once during his combinations, you don't, it won't let you hit him much. Only lets you hit him twice. I got it down once, but keep forgetting about the fucking delay chop. Take that, DK. See, he attacked on the opposite side. Why? Is it random? Why did he attack on the opposite side? 
It's random. Like which side he attacks on. I don't understand that. Oh no, not the delay chop. Make <laughs> a DK's autograph for me. Drifting. Sign your chest. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, come on. How many more Donkey Kong games do I have to play, guys? I wouldn't mind checking them out. Three middle chops. On 64. Oh my god. I did ace that game when I was a kid. It's now or never. He's gonna do the double slam on? Like, I, it seems One, completely random. Two, three, it drives four, me crazy. If I don't five, figure it out, I can't beat him six, because seven, because eight, uh, if he hits you, you can't nine, punish him. Ten, I ten count. I won by decision. I ten count this cloud, but I can't knock his ass out. Is it? Do you just have to react to it? It I seems pretty fast. <laughs> Thank you. 
Whatever. We ten count him. Good enough. The sun. We gotta get ready for the next challenge. Hey, sorry, Vest for kind of lost it. I don't care. I don't even know what that's even for. Don't be glass, Joe. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Why don't you love me? Oh no, hang ten, bro. Hang bogus. Hang ten. Hang ten. Oops. Pump it. Pump it. One, two, three, four. Hang ten. Hang ten. Flex. Stay down. One, two, three, four. Oh, you guys want the, the guy the guy that cheats? <laughs> That'd be a pretty good last fight. He was a really fun fight. <laughs> that guy's so stupid. Look at I don't know. I still don't understand why there's a ref in this game. What does he even do? Definitely doesn't do his job. Hang ten. Alright, let's see this ending. Oh, now you love me. Now you love Macho Man. Well, it's too late. Maybe not. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Listen, son. You've had a great career. I'm proud of you, kid. You're still the champion in my book. Doc, you need to get help. Feels. Good job, son. Good job. There's a lot of memes with that bike. A lot of memes. Memes that I can't talk about on Twitch. That's it? That's the ending? Yeah, this was a really good game, man. Yeah, he's acting like he did exactly. He's like, like he died. Yeah, it's pretty keen though. Uh I'm just trying to think of anything to really say. It's just a solid punch out game, man. Punch the punch out final is so good. I feel like the difficulty is a little kind of all over the place. But it's it's I, every every fight feels really fun. It has its own little thing to it. The music was okay. Maybe the music could have been a little bit better. But uh, I, I love how they handled all the old school fighters. The game like made them all speak their own languages. Have their own quirky animations that are like from the Super Nintendo and NES versions. 
Maybe I wish there was like more fights. I, I like the, the second playthrough, but I kind of wish that the harder playthrough would have introduced like more new fighters, you know, that you haven't seen before. But uh, for its time, it's good. There's a lot of ways they can improve this series. Like I said, they can add a like a BS mode would be cool. Add different characters would be cool that you can play as. I guess the biggest flaw of this game is that it's a Nintendo game. Like I said, it sucks that it's a Nintendo game. It could be so much more if it wasn't, you know. And they didn't put in Princess Peach. They didn't have the balls. That sucks too. offensive enough. <laughs> Nintendo. All rights reserved, Vesper. We'll take you to court. The end. Take your ass to court. Okay, let's check out that side game. The volume sounds a lot lower. So, I don't know what this is. Like, it's not a game that was sold retail. It was like, Digital download game only or something? Uh. Hey look! Uh? <laughs> uh? No. Uh. What? Every journey starts somewhere. Let's make that first punch together. Doc is gonna get you warmed up with some boxing basics. Yeah, sure, why not? Might as well get our money's worth. Get ready to study hard, Mac. This is called old school. Huh? <laughs> Keep it clean. Uh, dodge. I always wanted to fight Doc. Uh, dodge. No! Uh, dodge. Oh. Take that and your stupid oh. chocolate oh. bars. Block this. Oh! Block this. What? Don't tell me what to do. I telegraph that. Duck this one. Huh? <laughs> I like it, huh? Oh, that can't be. Duck this one. Huh? Isn't he supposed to be wearing protective headgear? That's the one I taught you. Block this. Huh? Oh, come on. I telegraph that. Block this. No. Oh, you're too fast. Uh, dodge. No, come on, come on, come on. He can take That's the hit. I taught you. He doesn't look so good, guys. Duck this one. What? Oh, oh, come on. Uh, nice one. <laughs> uh. I'm not done yet, Doc. I'm proud of you, son. But are you ready for the next lesson? Uh huh. He's gonna put him in the hospital. <laughs> okay, training. You get the sweet taste of victory from training, Matt, not from chocolate. <laughs> Jesus. Get ready to study hard, Matt. What, Hennessy? This is called 
old school. <laughs> Keep it clean. I punch like a 99 pound girl. Uh, uh, dodge. Oh. Uh, duck this one. No. Uh, oh. uh, uh, I telegraph that. Keep, uh, get low. Huh? Uh, get go. low. Uh, I telegraph that. Uh, dodge. Oh. Uh, 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 that was nice. Keep him up. Oh. Duck this one. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh, dodge. No. Go. Oh. Go. I'm not gonna get knocked out by dog. I grab that. Uh. Come on. Oh. Uh. Dodge. Oh. Go. Oh. Uh. Ouch, man. Duck this one. No. Keep huh? Get low. What? Uh. Oh. Go. Oh no. Ouch, man. Uh. uh. Dodge. No. Mm. Yes. This delicious. Oh no! <laughs> Come on! He's juiced! Uh, dodge! Uh, Come on, man! Uh, One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four! Keep it clean! Keep, keep it, it clean? Uh, Who the fuck does uh, this guy uh, think he is? Fast. Get low! Huh? I telegraph that. Keep him up! Oh! Duck this one! Fuck. Yeah, if I had a Coke Zero right now, that's how I can counter it. I'm finally a fully rounded fighter, Mac. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, I got to eat the chocolate bar. I didn't eat one. Keep it clean, All right, Mac, baby. Ding ding. Keep it clean. Come on. Ouch. Shut this one. No. That's the one I taught you. Uh, keep him up. Get low. What? Come on. Oh, come on. That's the one I taught you. Keep him up. Duck this one. Wow. Uh, 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 uh. You're too fast. <laughs> come on. Oh, oh. That's the one I taught you. Uh, dodge. No. Uh, 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 uh. I telegraph that. Huh? Keep him up. Uh, dodge. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. I telegraph Almost that. there. Come on. No way. Go. Oh. Take that. I oh. that. Duck this one. Huh? No. Uh, nice one. Uh. <laughs> I'm proud of you, son. But are you ready for the next lesson? Uh-huh. Lesson complete. Uh. Sparring. This old dog still has new tricks, son. Now you ready for your final lesson? <laughs> Pulls out a gun. Puts weights in his gloves. Hard, Mac. This is called old school. Huh? <laughs> Keep it clean. Keep him up. Move, baby, move. Quick feedback. Uh, come on. Oh, oh. What is? He gets a bunch of new moves. Wee. Wait, what? He got a star power up? I telegraph that. Keep him up. No. He's got a fucking star power up. Quick feedback. Move, baby, move. What? That's the one I taught you. Come on. No way. <laughs> you almost hit me with it too. Dodge. Come on. Oh. That's the one I taught you. Keep him up. Damn. You your lesson yet? One. <laughs> he counts for him. Three, four. Keep it clean. Come on. No. That can't be. Uh, dodge. Come on. Oh. Mm. Check this out. Oh no. That's chocktastic. Get low. Move, baby, move. Huh? I telegraph that. Quick feedback. Uh, huh? Son, you got to give 110% out there. I know mathematically it's only possible to give 100%, but you got to squeeze that extra 10% out there for me, Mac. He's drunk. No cheating. Right, Mac, baby. Ding, ding. Keep it clean. Get 
slow. Huh? Oh. Uh. You're too fast. Keep him up. Get low. Uh. Dodge. No. Go. Uh. Go. Uh. That can't be. He's got so much health. Uh. Dodge. Oh. Like I barely do any damage to him, but I have to beat him one fall, right? Come on. No way. Oh. Go. Uh. That's the one I taught you. Wait, what? Come on, Mac. The fuck was that? Yeah. Did you guys see how Two, fast the attack was? Three, he cheap shot me. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Uh, Stop. Uh, <laughs> you uh, fucking uh, asshole. I want a new coach. Come on, Mac. Don't cry. Let's give it another go, son. He's on performance enhancers. Why do we fall, Mac? Get ready to study hard, Mac. This is called old school. Outskill? <laughs> He's a fucking cheater, bro. Keep him up. Wow. <laughs> I telegraph that. Move, baby, move. Huh? <laughs> I telegraph that. Quick feedback. No. That can't be. Keep it clean. Uh, dodge! Oh, oh. Huh, huh, huh. I telegraphed that. Come on! No way! Oh, huh. That's the one I taught you. Wee. I invented this star punch! Learn your lesson yet? <laughs> one! <laughs> two! <laughs> three! That's bullshit, oh. one hit KO. Keep it clean. Come on! Oh, huh, huh, huh. That's the one I taught you. Uh, dodge! No! Huh, huh, huh. You're too fast! Come on! Oh! Mm. Check this out! Oh, he's just cheating again! Fantastic! Get low! Move, baby, move! Huh? Uh. Go. That can't be! Quick feedback! Huh? Go. Take that! That's the one I taught you! Come on! No! Go. That's the one I taught you! Uh, dodge! Oh! Go. Don't tell! You. You're too fast! Wee. No! Oh, how did I Come dodge on, it last time, man? I think I had to dodge to the left. Two, three, four. Cheater. Keep it clean. Uh, dodge. Uh, dodge. Fucking cheating coach. Uh, I'm finally a fully rounded fighter, Mac. <laughs> All right, Mac, baby. Ding ding. Keep it clean. Get low. Huh? I telegraph that. Move, baby, move. What? Guys literally telling you to avoid his moves. You mean the same guy who says keep it clean? That guy, right? That's the one I taught you. Come on. No, That's the one I taught you. Dodge. Oh. You're too fast. Wee. I invented what? No! Uh, uh. Get low. Keep him up. Get low. Uh, dodge. No. Close, we're close. Uh oh. Check this out. Oh no. Oh, fuck. He's cheating again. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Look what fucking help he got. Uh, dodge. No. You're too fast. Move, baby, move. Keep him up. Oh. Gonna kill you, Doc. Keep him up. Keep him up. Come on. Oh. Ah. That's the one I taught you. Quick feedback. Wow. That can't be. Son, you gotta give a hundred and ten percent. This guy's lecturing me. All right, Mac, baby. Ding, ding. Keep it clean. Come on. No way. That's the one I taught you. Come on. Oh. That's the one I taught you. Dodge. No. Too fast. You're out. Uh, you can't hit him. Yeah, I don't cheat, bro. I play legit. You go through the whole game legit. 
Get ready to study hard, Mac. Keep it clean. Keep them up. Move, baby, move. What? <laughs> I telegraphed that. Quick feedback. Huh? <laughs> that can't be. Uh, dodge. Ugh. Come on. No. We. I invented. No. Oh. That's the one I taught you. Keep him up. Quick feedback. Huh? Oh. That can't be. Move, baby, move. Come on. Learn your lesson yet? One, two, three, four. Keep it clean. Dodge. Too early. Come on. No, what? Go, go. That's the one I taught you. We. I invented what? Go, go. That can't be. Keep them up. Quick feedback. Huh? That's the one I taught you. Move, baby, move. Wow. Go. That can't be. Come on. Oh. Mm. Uh oh. Check this out. That's chartastic. Get low. Huh? Oh. Go. That's the one I taught you. Uh, I'm finally a fully rounded fighter, Mac. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Mac, baby. Ding, ding. Mm. Not good, Chuck. I've had like a subtle Popinski. Get low. Keep him up. Get low. Uh, dodge. No. Oh. You're too fast. Uh, dodge. Oh, go. I telegraph that. Come on. Come on. Wee. Come on. Ouch. Man. One, two, three, four. Keep it clean. I invented this. Ah! I forgot you had the fucking star. You're out. Why won't he give me chocolate? Because he's a fucking cheater. Get ready to start hard, Mac. Keep it clean. Keep him up. Move, baby, move. What? That's the one I taught you. Quick feedback. Huh? Oh, that can't be. Uh, dodge. No. Oh. I telegraphed that. Come on. Oh, go. That's the one I taught you. Wee. I invented, huh? Oh, go. That's the one I taught you. Keep him up. Quick feedback. Huh? Go. That can't be. Move, baby, move. Huh? That's the one I taught you. Come on. No. Oh. Mm. No. Now you got a Mac. You won't like Doc when he's angry. What the fuck? Removal of Douglas' chocolate bar may be hazardous to your health. It is not responsible for any frustration from this point forward. What? He's gonna start swearing? Duck this one. Duck this one. Whoops. Come on. Learn your lesson yet? One, two, three, four. Keep it clean. Come on. Dodge. Oh, go, go, go. I telegraphed that. But he eats a chocolate bar anyways. No way. That's weird. That's the one I taught you. We, I invented, huh? Go. That's the one I taught you. Duck this one. What? Go. <clears throat> uh, I'm finally a fully rounded fighter, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mac, baby. Ding ding. Keep it clean. Duck this one. Wow. I wish we can save the, the coach from his addiction. Duck this one. What? Go. Go. That's the one I taught you. Come on. Oh. That's the one I taught you. Uh, dodge. Come on. No way. Go. That's the one I taught you. Wee. Come on. Oh. Go. He's got the star. Mm. Check this out. No, I missed it. Uh oh. That's chocktastic. That's Duck not good. One. Come on, Mac. 
He has like endless chocolate bars in his in his pocket. Keep it clean. I invented no. That can't be. Duck this one, huh? That's the one I taught you. Duck this one, huh? That's the one I taught you. Come on. No way. That can't be. Dodge. Oh. I telegraph that. Come on. No way. That's the one I taught you. Get low. Wow. That's the one I taught you. Duck this one. No. That's the one I taught you. Move, baby, move. Huh? Oh, that can't be. Son, you got to give 110% out. It's all that Halloween candy, bro. All right, Mac, baby. Why Street Fighter 6 announcement vest, bro? Probably beginning of December. But I don't know for sure. Check this. No! No! I told you before, son. We. I invented no. Oh, kiss my ass. Nice one. You're fired. Ooh, wee, son. You about ready for some chocolate cake? <laughs> I don't want a cheater coaching me. Is that it? Was it Kino? <laughs> huh? Pretty cool. I think it's worth 60 wow. bucks. Uh. It's got more content than Street Fighter V. Uh. Uh. They could have like put into the game uh. some kind of extra content, you know? Huh? Uh. Uh. There's no lore, Bunky. Don't pretend there's uh. lore. We did young uh, Doc Lewis, dude. He was probably. Can you imagine how crazy of a cheater he must have been before he was a champ? Wow. 